this serum is just gonna melt right in the skin look at that whoa totally melt in the skin hi guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to be making a anti-aging facial serum now if you find yourself looking all wrinkled if you see the first sign of aging on your skin if you find that you're having sagging neck sagging jawline wrinkles on the forehead this anti-aging facial serum is for you I'm using ingredients that contain vitamin A which is a form of a retinol and vitamin A is great for the aging skin so I'm using oils and butter and I'm just using some natural stuff to create this anti-aging facial serum so if you're interested in today's video continue watching our first ingredient is rice and this is raw rice However, for this recipe, I'm going to be using cooked rice and this is what the cooked rice look like. To cook the rice, a, a quarter cup of rice to a three quarter cup of water and you get cooked rice. Do not overcook, but make it soft enough for easier blending. Now rice is loaded with a lot of nutrients. This is great for the skin. This will help to brighten the skin. It will help to tighten and firm the skin. It will also help to lighten and brighten the skin. It will also help to boost the collagen production. Collagen production slow with aging skin and this will have to plump it up to make your skin firm and radiant looking our next ingredient is shea butter and this is 100% pure shea butter take a look at this and this is organic shea butter and shea butter is great for moisturizing the skin so when mixed with the other ingredients it's going to create a wonderful facial serum our next ingredient is jojoba oil and jojoba oil is loaded with a vitamin A which is a form of a retinol and retinol is going to help to tighten and firm the skin it's going to lift that skin and it's going to leave your skin just plump and younger looking the next ingredient is also loaded with vitamin A retinol and it is rosehip oil and rosehip oil is another oil that is great for the skin this is all natural rosehip oil contains vitamin A rosehip oil will also help to tighten that skin it's a perfect oil for the aging skin another wonderful ingredient is vitamin E oil and vitamin E oil is great for most skin types vitamin E oil will moisturize the skin it will help to get rid of dry skin it will also penetrate deep into the skin it will help to plumb that skin up and it will leave your skin just younger looking fresh looking and also totally moisturized and supple Although I am using all the oils with vitamin A, I'm also going to add an additional vitamin A and this is pure vitamin A oil. You do not have the vitamin A oil not to worry, the other ingredients are just fine. Vitamin A pure is very strong so you do not need a lot. I'm only going to use two capsules in this recipe and this is 8000 IU so for 8000 IU just use two capsules okay. Next ingredient is aloe vera gel and this is the store-bought aloe vera gel aloe vera gel is very moisturizing it will help to get rid of spots and blemishes from the skin it will clear the skin leaving your skin just clean and clear and moisturized now these three oils are the main oils the rosehip oil the ova oil and also the vitamin E oil if you do not have all three not to worry just use whichever one you have however it will be good if you have the vitamin E oil just make sure to have at least one of this in this recipe now for those of you who do not have any of these oils additional oils that you can use you can use almond oil you can use coconut oil or you can use some olive oil just in case you don't have the obhoba and the rosy but as I said before make sure to use some vitamin E oil okay 
Now here we have our shea butter and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to melt the shea butter. You can choose to melt the shea butter in a double boiler or just place it in some hot water. Leave it there for a few and it will melt. Now be very careful with this if you're using the hot water method like I just did. And here we have our melted shea butter. So now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to work on the rice. So here we have our cooked rice and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to blend the rice. So I'm using about a quarter cup of cooked rice. And for our rice, you're not going to use any water in this, just blend as is. Now take a look at the cooked rice. It's going to be very creamy and thick. So we're scraping this out. And this is what it looks like. And it's definitely going to be creamy looking like this. This is exactly how you need it to be. So now we're going to put all the ingredients together. Now to store your serum, you're going to need a small container with a tight cover. Any small container like this is good. Or if you have an old moisturizer bottle, you could just wash it out, sterilize it and reuse. Okay. Now this is about a tablespoon of our blended rice. Next, we're reaching for our shea butter. And we're using about two tablespoons of shea butter, one teaspoon of our jojoba oil, pour that in, one teaspoon of the rosehip oil, pour that in. One teaspoon of our aloe vera gel for vitamin E oil, depending on your IU, use your discretion. Mine is 28,000 IU, and I'm going to use a full dropper for this. Now, here is an optional ingredient if you have vegetable glycerin. Go ahead and use one teaspoon. If you do not have vegetable glycerin, it's okay. You could leave it out, okay? This is also going to help with preserving it to keep it a little longer, along with the vitamin E. The final ingredient is our vitamin A oil capsule. Just make a small insertion and just squeeze. And for one capsule, you get about four drops. Squeeze everything out. Just squeeze. And now we're just going to blend this together. You can choose to just whisk it like this, which is going to take a while to get the rice and everything melt together. So I'm going to put this back in the blender. So just pour it back in the blender. Now the shea butter tend to, to thicken really, really fast. So try to work fast with this. And here we have our serum. Let's just pour it out for you to see. Scrape everything out. So next I'm gonna move on to storing. And here I have my small jar. So I'm just gonna fill this up. And this is more than enough for my jar. Now take a look at it. Here it is. This is your anti-aging facial serum. This serum is going to brighten the skin, it's going to boost the collagen production in the skin, it's going to lift and firm that skin, it's going to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines when used on a regular. Now you want to use this serum twice per day 
AM and PM for best result. Now you can store this serum in the refrigerator. Since we have a bit of a water in it from the cook rice, it could go bad. However, you can have it outside for about three to four days. But if you want to have this for a long time, let's say up to about 14 days, then store it in the refrigerator. The vegetable glycerin and also the vitamin E oil should act as a form of a preservative and that's why you can have it for about 14 days or so. If you didn't use the glycerin or vitamin E oil, use it up within seven days. Okay, so I'm going to move on the other side and I'm going to show you how to use this on your face for best result. Okay. All right, so to use this, you want to start with clean skin. So you're going to wash your face the way you normally do. Pat dry, spray your facial toner on, and now you're ready for your serum. Now you're going to take a little bit of the serum, not a lot like I showed here. Put it in your hands like this and just warm it in your hands. Once it is warmed, you're going to apply it to your face. And first, I like to just press it on the skin. Just press it on the skin. And this is not going to leave any residue on your skin. So don't be afraid to just use it all over your skin. Don't forget the neck and decollete area. Now, once you press the serum in the skin, what you're going to do, you're going to go back in with your hands. And if you have deep loft lines, you're going to take your fingers, you're going to press the serum in the laugh lines like I'm showing here just press it in and then you just slowly just lift all the way to the hair temple release press lift all the way to the hair temple release press lift and you're gonna do this about five to six times release and for your forehead wrinkles you're gonna do the same just use the serum and just Go with your fingers like I'm showing in upward strokes on the skin, basically waking the skin up and with this circulation and the serum is going to help to boost the collagen production and once the collagen production is boost it means that it's helping to get rid of the wrinkles on the fine lines on the sagging skin waking up the skin like this is also going to open those pores and it's going to fill those pores with all this wonderful goodness and before you know it with all the circulation it's going to help to shrink those large pores and there you have it your so there you have it thank you all for watching go ahead and try this wonderful facial serum now if this was your first time watching i'm sure you want to see more of these videos so look below you're going to see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed also at the side there's a little bell if you click on that you will get a notification as soon as i upload a video thank you all and i'll see you in my next video bye bye Happy serum in. Go and make this serum. Give it a try. It is actually.